canvas and paint in my mind Colors dance, spill outside the lines I refuse to settle, never the black and white Rock the neons until the day I die I'm on a constant search to make my heart swell Bite off too much, chew like hell Have my nights spent in a hotel Price I pay to escape the conveyor belt Okay, so we're back. That was a great class. That was very interesting. I've uh, I've never used wax. Linda has, but I haven't personally. Um, I used a lot of mixed media things, but but wax is not one of them that I've ever tried. So that was really interesting. All right, so we've got some giveaways to do. We're winding down now, and um, one more class to go. That's Miss Linda here. And then our uh, right after her class, we'll be we'll wrap it up. We'll do the final grand prize giveaway and a couple of other um, things. But first, let's take care of what we got for this se section. So we have another bag, and I'm going to need to give you a different link. Let me get to the chat. There we go. Okay. So this is actually uh, the marketplace, not my website, but you will need to go to this link to find the answer. Okay, first let's show you what we got here. We got another yard of the, the bling. Let's see, it's hard to get it with these lights, but it's got the bling. There we go, you can kind of see it. Okay, and we have a uh, star die set. It's got one, two, three different size stars in it. A square chipboard album. Another happy birthday embossing folder. This one is an assortment of brads. Buttons. A package of the buttons. Inches. Two of the inches, and this one you've seen before, it's the little girl. And then this is a different one, and it's a, um, I don't know, like a, I would say, like almost Christmassy. I don't know. Anyway, really cool. And then, we'll back and then of course, the bag of lace that is in every prize bag. So, the question is, yes, it recorded. Nikki, it did. Okay, so the question for this bag is, how many items does Gone Artsy have in stock and for sale right now? And you'll find it on that link that I just gave you. How many items are available in the Gone Artsy store? Wow, okay, Sophie wins. Next item. Okay, next item is this is one of the other new resin pieces, or I mean clay pieces we have in this the shop. These will sell for $2.25. They're frozen Charlotte dolls, three different sizes and a little bit different body shapes. So the question to win this is I have shown you now a certain number of clay pieces that were introduced tonight. How many different items? Not like total of like, you know, like this has three, not like that. Like how many, how many of these cards have I held up? Yes, these are frozen Charlotte dolls. That's correct. So this is open to everyone. How many have I shown throughout the night tonight? How many different clay items that will be new in the store? Mickey, Mickey Thanks. wins. You all know that I love to do uh, mixed media, and I don't sell this in the store, but it is one of my favorite products, and it is Inca Gold. Okay, so this is the next item that will be up for grabs, and the question is, where does DT Marianne live? Tennessee, nope, not Tennessee. Okay, while you guys are figuring that out, I'm going to go over to random.org and of the people that were at the class for, um, for Suzanne's class, I'm going to go through and pick out a person, a winner for her lace book. And Mickey got it right, Indiana, that's right. Okay, Mickey, you win that one as well. 
And the winner of the Lace Book, according to random.org, is going to be Beach Baby, which is Gina. So congratulations. You're, you win uh, the Lace Book that Suzanne has put together. So I'm going to need everybody to PM me their addresses so that I can get this stuff mailed out. Okay, so there's only two eligible people to win this bag this time, and that is uh, Magnolia, who's new with us. Not sure if she wants to check in and say hi. And, uh, and Gina, Beach Baby. Okay, great. All right, so there's only two of you that can win. Magnolia, you got to check in right now. Otherwise, this is automatically going to Beach Baby. Let's go through and see what's in here. Yep, yep, if you already sent it, that's fine. I'm just reminding people. Okay, so in this package, we have a stencil, same as the one we had earlier. A flower-shaped chipboard album. Hey Magnolia, can we have your real name? We have this really awesome starburst uh, fireworks kind of thing uh, embossing folder. Hi Donna, welcome. How did you hear about us? Okay, there's also these pink 3D blue moon flowers. A package of pink and burgundy petaloo flowers. Some color your own stickers, birthday. Of course a bag of lace. And then there's inchies, and the, these are, uh, this is a really pretty vintage girl on a swing. And this is one you've seen before, it's a vintage angel. There we go, vintage angel. Okay, so Donna and Gina, the question for you to answer is, and use this link, hang on. Okay, great. Well, we're glad to have you back. So I need you to use this link here and tell me how many gelatos do I sell? How many gelatos do I so sell? So Donna, I'm going to need you to contact me on Facebook and give me your um, address so I can mail that out to you. Congratulations. Oh. We're going to go over to Linda now, but don't go away after she's done because we still have uh, two more prizes plus the grand prize to give away. All right, and you must be present to win the grand prize. So those that have left are just out of luck, and you guys have a smaller pool. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to hand you over to Linda. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to Deb, and happy second anniversary. Again, I've been with Deb from the beginning as well, and... Um, Today, my project is a card. Um, it's a different type of card. I've um, done a crossover with an insert, an insert card, which also opens up so you can put your greeting down here. And I'll take you through it step by step with measurements. And um, we'll also put the measurements on as well. Thank you, Mickey. So let's get started. So what you're going to need, ladies, a three five and a half by five and a half inch cards. So I've done I'm doing a different project to the one that I've shown you. And that this card I'm going to be giving away as well. So one lucky winner is going to win this card. So um, I'm going to put 
one card to a side and I'm going to cut two, um, two triangles on the front of two of the cards because I'm going to join them but I want to cut them first and I just get my rule and my knife now don't throw these away because you're going to use these for matting and layering so that's one card so then I open this out just to make sure that I don't make a mistake I'm going to stand up because I find it easier and then taking my knife and my rule I'm going to cut again There we are. So don't want to lose them. So I'm keeping them. And now I'm going to join them. Join them in the middle. So using this uh, score tape which, which Deb has in her store. I'm just going to. I would advise you as well. To use double sided tape rather than wet glue. Because. Um the the um adhere and i find wet glue um after a while becomes on uh, become on glues so i always like to use double sided tape on my cards when i'm matting and layering so again just all four sides sorry guys Hope you can see. There we are. Now a tip for you is never take the double sided tape sheet off. Always fold it halfway because if you make a mistake or get it on wonky you've always got that little bit of leeway to take it off. So I'm just folding it back halfway. There we are. And now with this card, I'll line it up, making sure it's straight. And there we have it. So that's that done. So that's the first base of my card done. Now I'm going to go in with this, I'm going to use it as a tent. They call this a tent style card because you're instead of having it that way as a normal card, you have it as a tent and you adhere that to the top. So again, I need to put double sided tape on all four sides. <coughs> I know it takes a long time to put your tape on and that but I think it's really really worth it to take the time to mat and layer with good strong adhesive and then it doesn't come apart I never use wet glue or heat gun on my cards uh, the glue gun I beg your pardon not the heat gun I always call it heat gun it's not it's a glue gun I never ever use that um, I might use silicone glue when I'm at home but um, for here I don't and more often than not I always use double sided tape so again all four sides just take it back halfway there we are and now I can go ahead and place this on here and then we've got the base of the card done okay so I can now take these off because I'm happy that it's in place I 
There we go. I just use my score tool just to crease it, just to help the crease a lot, uh, creases along. So there we have the base of the card. I hope you can see that. Can you see it? Is that okay? Okay. Thank you, Kay. Okay, now you see these pieces which I told you not to, to cut, throw away? This is going to be your first layer. So all you need to do is just take a quarter. I use a rule and Tim Holtz has got a rule as well where they have lines on them. And I'm just going to take the first line. Can you see that line there? And I just put it across the top. And cut that off. So as you can see there, they will go on here. I'll just put show you one side. So it gives you a nice layer. But first off, <coughs> I'm going to use this pink um it's called Blossom Tree Chalk Edger and I just want to edge ink the edges so I'll move my craft mat and I'll just go around so I want the pink on the edges don't need to colour all the card just really round the edges highlight the pink on the edges so it uh, stands proud of the white background so that's all both done both sides done now now from Deb's store I'm using <coughs> GA614 Little Yellow Bicycle Swoon Fall Paper Truly Smitten So I, I love this paper, it's really beautiful and I love this bird Isn't it just beautiful? So I'm going to mat and layer, so I've got two sheets and I've already cut the bird out But I'll show you that later So first off I'm going to turn the paper over using one of my sides I'm going to get my pencil and draw a line and I bring my craft bat back in and using my rule again and the first line I'm going to put the first line, that black line, on the line I've just drawn and hopefully it should fit it'd be a nice layer and there we have it, see? so you can just see the pink edging not sure if you can see get it into focus, there we are the shine on the um, on the card you can just sit, make out the pink there if I leave it can you just see it right so that's one of them done and I'll do the other side now so we'll put this on And it's going to be back to front but never mind because it's going to be hidden sorry guys i shattered <laughs> have you had fun tonight you get one heartbeat song take it seriously this is your man
So again, I've just put double-sided tape onto the pieces just so I can get them on straight. Now this piece is going to go on here, on this side. So I've already put my double sided tape on, as I said before, don't take the top layer of your double sided tape off, because it helps you put it straight. That's one side done. What I'm going to do so I'm going to cut this square out and I'm going to use this so I know roughly where I want it to be. So I've marked it and turned the card over and I'm just going to draw around this card. So now I'm using my knife and I know I've got the bed which is what I wanted. So I'm just going to cut all the way around this now. So I've cut that piece and that will go sit on top of there but I need to bring it in a bit. So what I'm going to do is just take, using the black line again, just going to take off one of the sides and one of the bottoms, making sure it's not the bird side. There we are. And for this, I'm going to use the ink and just ink the edges. Just so it tones in with the rest of the card. Again, I'll put my double sided tape on all four sides. I've been making cards now for about 19 years, so that's a long time. I was looking back at the first, very first cards I did before I came here, I would, would not show them to anybody. And it all started with my husband um, taking me to a craft shop because I used to um, uh, cross stitch. I walked into the craft shop and that was it. The rest is history. I've never stopped since. So again, just taking off the four sides. No, don't remove this because it helps when you're layering. So I want this here, like this. There we go. So that's the inside of the card. I know the bed will be covered. But when you open it and stand it up, you can see the bed. Right. Okay. 
I know it hasn't got the the bling here but it's going to be covered because I'm using some of the lace from Deb's store and just want to get this matted and layered now Take a deep breath, feel the lightning down in my chest I'm just a piece of art and the paint's fresh Cause I'm not near finish yet I got a pregnant mind, no one's to give birth Breathe life into these big words I can hear the universe In my ear she whispers one you get one heartbeat song Right, so there we go Okay So I'm going to use next, I'm going to use um, GA821, which is this pink scallop fan lace. And I'm going to put that down each side. I like to use red tape, this uh, red tape um, to stick down, especially for cards, because I find that it sticks better. So again, opening my card out flat, I'll just put this across the bot, the top here. I've lost my tweezers. Who's pinched my tweezers? I bet they are. Right. And I'm just going to place this on here. It just works out nicely. Where the fan is. So that's that side. Now do the other side. Take it seriously. This is your masterpiece. Don't forget to dream and taste the colors in the air you breathe. It's your masterpiece. Go ahead and feel it all. Don't stop. So that now sits in there like that okay now as you as i told you before i cut the bird out if i can find it what have i done with it oh there it is i cut the bird out and um i've edged it with the pink and i'm just going to use some um sticky buds to adhere into the to here can you see I'm just putting sticky buds on and I'm just going to place them on there like that and Deb has these set of three crowns which are GA720 and I think the lift, the smallest one will look fabulous on, on his head as a crown. So I'll get some, cut this sticky bud down so it'll be the same height as the decoupage bed. you can just if you notice I've just left a lip there so the lip can just sit on top of the bird's head can you see 
right i want to finish this off now this lace is um the butterfly dangle and it's ga280 i've already cut one out and i'm going to use one on either of the fronts so i'll just show you how i i cut it out i just tr trim it round really very easy to do this is going in my um, case to go home with me as well this lace you'll be seeing more more card in my classes in the coming months because Deb's asked me to stay on for another six months which I'm so excited about and I'll be doing some videos as well on card making so there we are we've got three and I just want to put this one up here there we are that's the right way so I use a little bit of double-sided tape And a, a good tip is, you know where I know where I want the butterfly to be, so I'll put the the tape actually onto the card because it's easier than trying to take the cover off if it's sat on your. There we are. And that looks really nice there. So that's that done. And you can still see the little bird just peeping through with this crown on and just a bit of the butterfly. So when it stands open on your mantelpiece, you will see everything. So now I want to, these are um, white paper peonies. You get um, six in their bundle and they're GA466, 466, that's right. And I've just gently inked them with the pink. And I'm going to put three of them. I tell a lie. I'm going to put three of them here. I don't want anything here except the butterfly because this is the opening. And the but these will sit here. So I'll cut these off very quickly. And Tim Holtz scissors are brilliant because they're serrated, they don't damage. So again, double-sided tape. If I was at home, I would use silicone, silicone glue, but I don't have my silicone glue here. So, and then just pop that on there. This double-sided tape is brilliant. It is so sticky. It works a dream. And Deb has different sizes. I think she has, this is um, half inch, I think. I think she does a quarter and I think she does an inch. But you'll have to check the website. I'm not sure what the codes are. Sorry, Deb. I forgot to take the code for this. So there's my peonies. Now that this butterfly, I want to have nestling in the flowers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put this on here and hopefully I can get it off. Just trying to see, that's it. So we'll just put it on the back of it. And hopefully this will come off. Oh yeah, it has. It's really good. And I'm just going to nestle that into the peony. Like so. And then this one. I'm just going to pop there. Take that off. And I must say the finger lifting is really so easy. I can, I've used double-sided tape for years and this, I must say, is one of the best I've ever used. It just comes away so easy. And that, ladies, 
is my project for tonight I'll just move everything out of the way so tonight we've got two cards to give away so we're going to give this one away and I'm going to give this one away as well so we've got all the beautiful products from Deb's fabulous store and um, You can put a message inside and it'll sit on your mantelpiece like that. So has anybody got any questions? There we are, that's it standing. So it'll stand nice and proud on your mantelpiece and when it closed, it closes like that. you can still see the cute little bird with its crown along the top thank you everybody so we've got two cards um, I'll leave it up to Deb I just want to say thank you so much to Deb for not only letting me take part today but also for the fabulous two weeks I've stayed here. I go home on Wednesday. Congratulations on two years of amazing products. And I hope next year is just as good as this year for you. Thank you so much, ladies, for watching. I'm going to sign off and hand you back to Deb. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Forget to dream and taste the colors in the air.